But we have the Ten of Wands. And then you have the Seven of Wands. So this could be you. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come toward you, different people that they are attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. So you have another person that is um, going through something that they didn't expect to go through. Like they're frustrated, they're stressed out. A lot of it's like they got hit with a lot at one time. Something could have backfired with the Seven of Wands being here. They're overwhelmed. Yeah, whoever this Queen of Wands is. Now, this could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person could be, yeah, you have Sagittarius here. You have Leo, but they could be a fire sign. You could be a fire sign as well. You have the Nine of Wands. And this is also Sagittarius energy. So you could be a Sagittarius or that person could be a Sagittarius. This is someone that is stuck in guilt. This person is feeling guilty for something that they did. And now they cannot shake some type of karma or something that backfired onto them. Because they kept doing something. Like they were persistent. They kept doing something over and over and over again. You have the Nine of Cups. They feel like everything have turned out in your favor. You're happy. You're someone that trusts in the universe. Um, you're very optimistic about your life. And you're at peace. It's like you're satisfied. And it overwhelms this person. Yeah, this could be someone that definitely wanted to ruin you. They wanted to cause some type of betrayal to you. They could have bad mouthed you, talked about you in a negative way. But um, now it's like they feel hopeless. They feel defeated. They feel like they've ruined their self. You have the Eight of Wands. Yeah, because it's like you've made some type of movement. Something has changed um, quick for you. You could have took action towards some type of idea. And life is just moving ahead for you. You're moving forward, but this person is like being blocked off from different things. You have the sun. Yeah, this is someone who feels like that su success lies ahead for you. You're someone that's on the right path. You're satisfied. You're in a positive energy and you're very strong. You have the four of wands. Yeah, th this could be, you know, you have a strong um, foundation. A stable foundation. And you have the seven of cups. This is somebody that wanted to have another person um, like confused. If this is someone who wanted you to be in an illusion or they wanted another person to be in some type of illusion, they're not. You're not. And they're confused. Yeah, because they have been doing this for a long time. Whatever they were doing with the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. They're looking back and remembering different things that they did in the past. And they see how um, how much progress you've made. And how many promises they have not filled. So something is unfulfilled. They could have promised another person that they would be able to um, cause some type of ending for you. Overwhelm you. Block you off from something. But it didn't work. Yeah, this didn't work. And then this also could be another person is looking back and remembering a lot of things that this person did and they feel like this person is a blockage. 
Like they were trying to confuse them, keep them um, in some type of daze. They didn't want this person to have any control. And whatever they promised this person is just, it, it hasn't been fulfilled. It was a, it was a complete illusion. You have the four of pentacles. Yeah, it's like holding on to something way too tight. You can't move forward. That person can't move forward. So they were trying to control another person. And they felt like they would gain something. This could have been, you know, keeping another person in some type of investment and just being confused. You know, they're constantly being promised different things. They're just investing, investing, putting something in something that they're not going to gain or get anything out of. This could have been a relationship. Like somebody could have been promising another person something in a relationship. That person was planning on doing something quick or moving forward. And they kind of like stopped that person. They did something to confuse that person. And they had been doing this for a long time or this was just planned out with the seven of pentacles being here. And it was to stop that person from moving forward. But as I say, you know, they could have ended up in the energy where they didn't have much to give. So they started holding back, trying to secure their self, being stingy um, with time, money and energy. If the, if the goal was to hold on tight to this person for material gain. You have the hangman. And then you have the knight of cups. Yeah, this was the, to have another person in the energy of hesitating. They were coming towards you with this... Um, like a romantic offer in this Knight of Cups energy, or this could have been just to connect with you. And um, somebody wanted to have that person waiting. You have the lovers popping out in the reverse. So yeah, this ended in, a, it's like the reason why that person was allowed to keep them waiting because they needed to separate from that person with the lovers popping out in the reverse. They were only frustrating their self. This person was avoiding making some type of decision that they needed to make. Like something had already ended with the Ten of Swords. A situation was at a dead end. And eight of one, with Eight of Wands being here, it's like that person was supposed to be, you know, doing something quick or moving on quick. But they could have allowed that person to confuse them. And they were avoiding making this choice that they needed to make. And it's like somebody failed a test. So if this person was somebody that tested them, they failed the test. And they were given, in, given to something that they were not going to get anything out of. You have the four of swords. And then the devil, yeah. Somebody needed to end something out, like end a toxic karmic cycle out, separate from whoever this person is. This was a toxic karmic partner. This was a loveless relationship. Um, they were in a relationship where they were frustrated. They weren't attracted to that person. They weren't in love with that person. They were just staying connected to that person. And this could have been because they were in this toxic karmic cycle. So these could have been different issues that this person needed to heal. Um, work on their shadow self, different things like that, because they were keeping their self um, restricted and keeping their self in the energy of po being powerless, not having their own power. It kept them limited. If this person was, you know, wanting to do something or they believed they could do something, it was limited. It's like somebody needed to cut a cord, break some type of chain or something. And they did not know or they weren't they weren't um, they were avoiding this. It's like whoever this person is that they were holding on to that person had done. The, the way I'm seeing this seven of cups in the seven of pentacles, they could have invested in um having that person in some type of illusion for a long time, like in some type of day, this could have been spell work. So they needed to separate their self away from that person, go into solitude 
in order to break some type of bondage off of them or some type of spell. This is why they weren't um, ending something out that was supposed to end. You have divine timing. Yeah, this was supposed to end at a certain time and this person was waiting to do something. So it's like once you're trying to interfere with divine timing, the person that you're attached to, this person, the person that they were attached to knew something was supposed to happen at a certain time. Now, if they were trying to stop it because they had confused this person and they had um, used some type of magic and that person did not know, divine intervention steps in. Both people receive karma. And it's like one person, they realize why they're going through karma. But this person did not realize that they would be in this four of pentacles energy. They didn't realize that they would keep them restricted and have them in the energy of trying to hold on to whatever it is that they got. You have music and then you have roll the dice. Yeah, it's like somebody needed to wake up so they would be able to move forward because they were keeping their self waiting. Then you have surrender. Something needed to be released. Like whoever this person is, they had to be released. They needed to separate their self from this person, let go. Yeah, this is a snake. And as I say, this is someone that brought a lot of karma to them. Divine intervention. You have liquid courage. Yeah, somebody ended up going through karma so they would have confidence or be brave enough to take a leap of faith towards a whole nother direction. It's like you don't know your strength. You don't know your confidence until you're being tested. You have third party. This is somebody that was trying to interfere with a connection. So they were trying to interfere with that person coming towards you. They didn't want it to lead to um, a commitment, a friendship, any anything like that. You have finances. Yeah, it's like somebody was just trying to interfere with this, interfere with some type of um couldn't they were trying to interfere, like cause some type of interference because this person wanted money. Like they were only out for finances. Yeah, but they kept this hidden with between the lines being here. They didn't act like it. You have text message, and then you have crossroads. Now, somebody wants to say something, communicate, call, but they do not know what to do. Like, they don't know. They haven't made a decision yet. It's like they found out the truth. Something was revealed to them about whoever this third party is, and then you have new love. Hold on one second. Okay, so this person um, definitely have found out the truth. They've gained clarity. But um, they're trying to figure out if they should reach out or not, if they should communicate. They still are trying to make some type of decision, but they've moved on and this person wants a new beginning. This person could be, uh, they want new love. You have change and then date. So yeah, it's like that person, they want to meet up with you. This person wants to date you. A lot of things could have changed or this person could just be in the energy of making a lot of changes since they found out the truth. Yeah, this is someone who wants to be in a commitment, a relationship. They have photograph. And then you have not today. It's 
So somebody is trying to get this person to um, reminisce about different things that took place in the past. This could be about this relationship. It's like they're trying to string this person along. Because this person is like avoiding them. They've set some type of boundaries. They know that this, they know that um, whoever the person is that they've let go of and found the truth about, they know this person is still mad because they set boundaries. So it's like they're trying to cause some type of deception to like tempt that person and get that person to come back towards them. But they know this person is a snake. Yeah, you have the sword and the rose. It's like they already know the truth. They've gained enough clarity about that person. Then you have love call. And then both. Then you have the runner. Yeah, whoever the person is that they detach from, um, that person is someone that is very codependent. This is somebody that has a hard time letting go. It's like this person have moved on. They're constantly trying to call this person. They want this person to think of them or something like that. But they're not picking up. They're not responding to whatever these messages are or this call, these calls. It's like they've let go of whoever this person is. And that person can't. So whatever they whatever they have been doing for a long time to have that person like in some type of daze, they're in that daze. They're confused. You have engagement ring. Yeah, it's like somebody is going towards commitment. Then you have the golden mirror. Yeah, this is somebody that realized they weren't going to evolve with whoever this person is. With the phoenix popping out in the reverse. And then you have the golden mirror. It was a one-sided relationship. So they could not see their self evolving or taking something to the next stage. Whatever they're trying to do, whatever they're trying to say to that person is not going to make that person change their mind about um, detaching from them, keeping these boundaries up, not dealing with them. Yeah, they're focusing on making healthier choices. Yeah, this is somebody who have definitely set their self free from whoever this person is. This was some type of love spell or something like that. Like they love bombed this person. And they had this person in this energy for a long time. You know, they invested in doing this. But now it's like something is, is done. Something is over. You have goodness. And then we have self-love on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, this is someone who had to change their character. So they could have went through a, um, a healing phase. Taking out the time to attend to their self, love their self. And um, let their self guide them in the direction that their heart, their heart is truly desiring. And it's like they're grateful for whatever this was because they feel like this was a lesson. So they could learn to love their self. Yeah, this is someone who um, they freed their self with goodness being here. And they're allowing this energy that they're in now after making some type of change to guide them, to keep them in a positive mindset. This is somebody who needed to learn how to love their self in order to be able to love another person. So they're coming up out of a, um, an illusion, realizing that they weren't showing enough love to their self. How could that person love them? Because they weren't giving that person any love. 
they confuse that person so they can keep giving financially, like putting into something that they weren't going to get much out of. But whatever they did gain was a lesson that needed to be learned, a lesson about self-love. 